Same as... Oh, here we go. We're getting to the boss, but I still want to get that shortcut. Just for a game as anticipated and hyped as Starfield, I just wish it ran a little smoother on my rig. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, but it's Bug Thesda, you know, like they have the reputation for that. It's like, but that shouldn't be a free pass either. You know, to have a game that just runs that way. Like, your new game shouldn't come out and run, you know, badly enough to where people need to make mods so that your game can run better on their system. Like, I just think it's so silly. But for the time that I did at least jump into Starfield for the, the first stream of it that I did, it was really fun. I just wish that it ran a little smoother. Yeah, that's not the way. Where in the world... You charge the heal every time you hit an enemy. What's up, Eddie? Eddie Swag? I love the name. Welcome on in. A hundred percent. That's why I don't mind... Like, if I'm out of heals and I see a bunch of enemies ahead of me, I don't mind just going for them, because at least you get rewarded. Is this not supposed to be a shortcut that you can open up? I knew that I saw it already, though. You should be able to open that. I don't know if there's an enemy that has a key, and I just haven't gotten the key yet because I'm silly, and I just missed it, or... Maybe it's that thing on the ground that's closer to where the boss fight is. Because the first boss is coming up. It's like right over this way. I'm pretty sure. You are silly. <laughs> Did you try finger butthole? No, stop. Dan, god damn it. Damn it. I don't think, I don't think this game has a message system like the Souls games, does it? But I feel like a lot of people would be saying that ridiculous, just silly shit if it did. If it does, I think I totally missed it. What's better than the Patriots Jets game Pixie stream? Oh, hell yeah. You're at the Broncos Dolphins game? Oh my God, be smoky. Wait, is it at the Dolphins stadium or the Broncos stadium? Because my brother got to see the Broncos play last week, which I'm sure is an experience he is never gonna forget. Um, because it just sounds really, really cool. But I'm assuming that they're not playing at Denver two weeks in a row, so I'm guessing you're over in Florida. But have the best time, though. Like, I wouldn't be opposed to going to something like that, even though I'm not huge on, like, football. But, like, if I got invited to go, like, I would go. I would get, a, you know, a couple beers and have a good time. Like, why not? Now, are you a fan, though, of the Dolphins, Be Smoky, Or did you just want to, you know, go to a football game? <laughs> I'm the parade master. I like singing and marching with people. Okay. I like singing as well. <laughs> I'm a musician, damn it. I just got up from a nap and got a call from work. Oh, how frustrating is that? Especially on the weekend. That's so annoying. I am sorry. I do hope that the work stuff is really quick, though. You do work from home, don't you? I think the game just saved for me, but I kind of want to do it anyway. Because why not? Oh, th I think it just... I guess that's the autosave then. All right. We'll be good. I think this is where the first boss is. So I remember having a pretty hard time in the demo with this one. Just getting into this fight. The Halloween thing is spooky. If you're not expecting spiders and such popping from the loot boxes. Oh, that's cute though. That's so different. Oh, nice. That's different. Does Apex normally do, like, holiday events, like, festive stuff like that? Because I don't remember ever seeing stuff like that pop out of, like, loot crates and stuff. That sounds like a lot of fun, though. That'd be really fun to stream, too. Is it pop culture if it's from when we were in high school more than 10 years ago, though? I mean, you have a point. It's more, like, old school pop culture, then. <laughs> Oh, man. My parries are so off. Nice. There we go. Ah, I tried to get out, too. It's just like Sekiro in that respect, though, right? Got to get away from the red ones. Oh my 
my goodness. Even so, I still feel like I don't have a ton of time to get away. I'm trying. What's up, Um? I see you, my friend. Thank you so much for the raid. What's up, everybody? I'm probably gonna die anyway. My parries are not, not on point. Oh, that actually worked. All right, thank you so much for sending your community over. I freaking appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. How was your stream? Give me the deets. Tell me all the stuffs and things. I know you were playing Rocksmith. I don't even have to ask you at this point. And if you say you were actually playing something different, I'd be very surprised. Shit. <laughs> Not a bad first try, though. But it's good to see you, Art. Thank you so much for the raid. Everyone coming in that doesn't know me, my name is Pixie. I'm a variety streamer. I just got my ass kicked by the first boss of this game. But I played the demo, and we're just getting into the game um, starting today. And I'm so excited. I love it already. It's satisfying the soul's itch that I've been kind of feeling for a little while now. So I'm loving it. But I hope you're all doing amazing. Happy Sunday, everyone. If any of my mods can give a shout to Art as well, I'd certainly appreciate it. But if no one is around, Art does stream. So please, please go take the time to check them out. Like they sent their community here. So you know they're a streamer, right? But they do a lot of music and Rocksmith kind of content. And honestly, it's always really fun to watch because I don't really, I'm not really, I don't have a lot of friends on the platform that make content like that. So it's just something very unique to me. Hi, Dale Merv. Hi, Dale. Good to see you, my dude. Happy Sunday. I hope life is going well for you. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I didn't think so. I didn't think so, but it would be cool. I guess the, the message element is more for like the multiplayer experience and this game, as far as I know, doesn't do anything with multiplayer, so it makes sense. It's a blowout, so I'm using my phone. When I'm at a sporting event, I don't use phones. Aw. I hope you're not a Jets fan. I am not a Jets fan. My parents like the Jets and the Giants because they're like kind of the home teams, right? The closest teams to home, but I could really care less if the Jets or Giants do well. But I just find it funny because every year they're like, this is the year, this is the year. They're gonna pick it up. They're gonna do great. And then even if they start off doing well, it kind of just goes downhill like enough of the time. <laughs> but why are the Jets like getting absolutely destroyed today? Boy, I'm not getting perfect parries. I blocked some, but not a lot. There we go. Get that stagger up. Nice! Oh, that was so cool. There you go. Awesome. Let's go. That's what you need. The stagger is incredibly satisfying. I love it so much. <laughs> this phase was an absolute bitch, though. I remember. That's not good. But I do appreciate you popping in saying hi, be smoky. I definitely would like for you to just enjoy the experience of being at the game, but you popping in to say hi honestly means a lot. So thank you just for being here. Oh shit, get away from that. I totally felt like I hit that parry too. I might have been a little too slow. Damn it. What kind of Pinocchio is this? Oh yeah, this is a this is a different like if you thought you knew Pinocchio Kizarks, this game will kind of show you that you might not know Pinocchio. Like it's not Pinocchio in the way you you would think of him, right? But he's really cool though. Like he's kind of badass. He looks like a Someone said he looked like Mike from Stranger Things, which I think is fucking hilarious cuz he totally does. But he just looks like this, I don't know. Just like this adolescent badass that's like just trying to make his mark on the world at least right now and i love it i'm finding the bosses in this game harder than the FromSoft bosses 
So for me, Pistol Shrimp, at least talking about the demo, I would agree with you. It's just, it's a little bit different because it's not, you know, quintessential like from software, right? But I feel like for this first boss, I spent a good, you know, I spent a hot minute on it. It took me a minute. But then the second boss wasn't too, too bad. So I feel like I started to get a little bit better just with the combat and stuff by then. But then the last boss of the demo was an absolute bitch. Oh my God. He was so incredibly frustrating. So I'm, I'm kind of curious that when I get to that point, how it's gonna go. <laughs> but I, I don't have a great feeling about it, but we will, we will get it eventually, right? Will, what's up, Will? Thank you for popping in with that raid, my dude. Happy Sunday. I hope you're keeping well. Same with you, Immortal. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Welcome, welcome. I'm not gonna trick you. Yes, I was playing Rocksmith. I know, or you could have said anything. You could have said whatever you wanted. <laughs> But I appreciate you being honest, Art. I'm doing okay. I'm doing even better now that you and your community are here, though. That's for damn sure. Thank you so much again for thinking of me. Honestly, I do have, um... We're doing September shenanigans all throughout the month, taking advantage of September. And we are aiming to hit our 250 subs goal. And when we do hit that goal, I'm going to do my first ever Clone Hero stream. And that makes me think of you, like, right away, because I know how much you love to play that kind of game on stream. And I've never streamed something like that before. Like, I just love Guitar Hero in general. But playing Clone Hero is going to be an amazing time, so... It's not quite as awesome as Rocksmith, though. But, you know, it's, like, halfway there. At least. Oh, nice. I needed that. Boop. What a good run. What a good start. Good try. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Definitely getting back into the swing of it, but I appreciate it. Okay. Poke him right in his metal junk. Even that metal can't protect you. God! Don't they close the gap so quickly? That's it. That's all she wrote. I got no more heals. God. <laughs> I thought I missed my chip. Let's go. You don't you got nothing on fucking Pixie Pinocchio. Let's go, bitch. <laughs> awesome. We got some quartz too. Let's go. Oh, the heart pumping adrenaline that I crave from these games is back and I fucking love it. I never thought I would have became a masochist in my life, but when I started playing games like Dark Souls, it just awakened this this part of me that I never knew existed until then. Let's go. Maxim, hi Max, how you doing? Thank you for popping in with the raid from Art. It's good to see ya. Happy Sunday. Oh, I love it so much. This is the year, Aaron Rodgers injury. Why? I know, my God. Be smoky. I saw multiple like TikToks. I, I liked a pretty funny one. I, I don't know if I could pull it up for you guys, but I liked a really funny one about that. I forget what it was, if it, it was like a hamstring related injury, right? It's like legit the first game of the season and he does something like that and it's so heartbreaking. Like, I hope the guy is okay, obviously, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's like, how in the world does that happen? Well, I guess I know how it happens. It's because he probably shouldn't be playing football anymore. Like nothing against him, but like he's getting, he's an older guy at this point, like in the world of sports, right? And so I feel like he just shouldn't be doing it anymore. And maybe that's a sign that he should maybe be done. 
like after this year i don't know shock what's up thank you so much for the sub thank you so much for the 15 months that was very sweet of you i do appreciate it every sub every self-paid sub helps us get closer to qualifying for the partner plus program and every sub as y'all can see exclamation september brings us closer and closer to our next goal as well so i really appreciate that thank you so much i hope your weekend has been lovely shock i hope you had a good day it's really late for you our time difference always amazes me honestly but for me it's uh it's almost 3 p.m so my day is still quite young but how the heck are you my friend it's good to see you pixie on one screen football on the next oh you're sweet swingman i appreciate you hanging out i really do that's something that always kind of that i always have in the back of my head during like football season like sundays thursdays sundays and mondays are like the big days you know, for football games. So the fact that y'all want to come in and hang out means the absolute freaking world to me. <laughs> and I really appreciate it. I'm good, thanks. I'm so glad you're doing well, Immortal. That makes me happy to hear. I hope you had a really nice weekend as well. I could see you as a clone hero main. Oh my God, stop. The one thing, and you, you might even know, you might even be able to help me with this question potentially. And I don't want to keep you art like, please go do your thing and take care of yourself because streams are very uh, energy consuming and time consuming. And I, I completely understand if you're gonna go lurk, but I figured I'm gonna just ask it anyway, that if we do hit this goal and I wanna get this stream set up, the one thing that I feel like could be a little bit tricky um, would be to figure out how to make sure that whether I'm sitting close enough to the microphone or not, I wanna make sure that the community wouldn't be hearing like all of the clicks from the strums on the controller and like switching notes with the buttons and stuff. So I do have some like noise reduction mic filters on, like nothing crazy, but I'd have to test it out with my setup to see if, um, if I would be able to just have it so I could still sit in the same spot and have everything be the same, but just have you guys not hear all of that clicking. Cause I don't know about you, but that would annoy me <laughs> a little bit to hear all of that. Oh, I heard something and I thought something was coming up behind me. Notice. The greatest luxury you will ever experience is... See what I mean? You don't have time to read that. It's two lines and they don't give you, they only give you like a second and a half to read it. Why do I have to keep pressing the button? Come on guys. This game is fantastic already, but come on. <laughs> like I need time to actually look at it. I am someone that likes to read this stuff. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. Okay. We'll see about One that. Thing I should mention. GG's, thank you, Niji. Security. Thank you so much for the GG's, everyone. I appreciate it. I do. So you'll have to lie. This is a neat boss inside. design. Yeah, some You're of the bosses are um some of the bosses are really interesting looking, Dulcie. They are. There's um if the, the start of the main game is gonna hold true to the way that the demo was, and so far it has, then the next boss is gonna be um, gonna be something interesting. And I didn't have too much trouble with the next boss in the demo itself, but it was just, it was interesting looking, let's just say that. I just thought it was kind of funny. Well, thanks, thanks for asking. Been moving loads and loads of toys and stuff into new storage, so my back and legs are feeling it. Oh, wow. Well, it's nice that you have somewhere to at least get those things into. You know what I mean? Like, I know you like to collect a lot of stuff. And for me personally, there's no way I'd have the space for it. So being able to designate a spot like that, I think is really great. And honestly, it's a good workout <laughs> to move all that stuff. I went on my jog this morning and I was feeling pretty great after. Like I can definitely, since I've been somewhat consistent with it, like throughout the whole summer and now into autumn, I feel like I could definitely notice the the changes, I think the most in my legs, which seems obvious, right? But just like, I feel like my legs, I could see that they're a little bit more toned than they were. And it's a really good feeling to like, see that progress. Cause like, I feel like a lot of us that want to get into exercising and working out, it's like, if you don't see that progress, like in a certain amount of time, then it gets a little discouraging, but it's just the reality that it takes a long time, right? And a lot of consistency and effort, so. I definitely feel that, but hopefully, uh, hopefully you didn't work yourself out too hard moving that stuff. Achilles in injury, similar to Dan Marino, 
but football related. Okay. Ouch. So like, did did he? Did, I guess he tore his Achilles then. That sounds insanely pain, in, insanely painful. Excuse me. I couldn't even begin to imagine. Fairy light power activate. Meow. Hi, Aurora. Thank you for the hug. Oh shit. Hi. Um, I'm I'm totally not a puppet. I'm totally not a puppet. <laughs> totally not. This game is called Lies of P, and I think lying is a pretty big part of the game. And that's fine. I can get all of my lying out now because IRL, I feel like I am a terrible liar. So I'm going to have to get good at it if I want to get through this game. <laughs> Aurora, I'm going to give you an absolute butt ton of hugs and love, lady. It's good to see you. Happy Sunday. I hope you're hanging in okay. I hope you're doing well. I hope the family's doing well, too. I'm curious what you're getting up to today. I'm just assuming you're kind of taking things easy, though, still. Crusher, thank you for the lurky lurk, Crusher. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. I did my five night shifts and now I have four days off. Yay! <laughs> Let's go, Shock. I think you were mentioning that the other day as well. You had like one more shift to go. That's great though. Do you have any nice plans for your day off? Honestly, with the way the weather is and just the time of year, it's the perfect time for like apple picking and soon enough pumpkin picking. And yes, I'm really basic like that, but I don't care. I love all that little stuff. Oh, credits. Let's go. I didn't expect that. But that's cool. I, mean, I guess we're basically out of the tutorial then. Cool. Yeah, Chi Chi, what are we playing next? I know, right? 60 bucks full price just for that. That was fantastic. Next game. <laughs> The Grand Exhibition. They're bringing a bunch of boxes of just parts, I suppose. Welcome to Krat. And we did see, um, we did see some folks like making these puppets as well. Oh my God. She's so cute. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, you can see like the, the puppets are basically, um, I don't want to say betraying the humans, but they're like, you know, going feral and going batshit crazy. <laughs> wow. And now the humans, everyone's trying to hide and stay the fuck away. Yo, what a banger of a song, though. Yikes. See, yeah, Lord Time, I know, right? That's kind of what it feels like, yeah. It just kind of looks like that it happened, though. It just, like, all, like, all, like, everything was fine, and then all of a sudden it shows, like, them rebelling and, you know, getting all corrupted and shit, so... I would love to know, I would love to learn throughout the game a little bit more of how exactly it happened, but... That's a very, like, kind of TLDR way of saying it, I think. But that was really cool though, and that that OST was actually amazing. Picked some apples and plums from my father's yard. Oh, shock! Did you actually? That's so sweet. Mike and I went to the grocery store a few days ago, and I actually I wanted some fruit to snack I'm on. So happy to see. You. And we have apples at the house a lot because of the kids, but I picked out like five plums because I love I plums. Sophia. They're fucking amazing. I've been so I had one last night and it was so Searched refreshing. All over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Hello, Sophia. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croft is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Okay, okay. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. I never... Yeah, I already leveled up game. I know it's up. I never quite understood. I just want to... I think he's in shock. Aw, Jiminy. Sorry, Jim. That's proof you're broken. I never understood in games why they would design somebody 
to have like a very a long coat like that but, but then like her arms aren't even in the sleeves like it's like she's just wearing the coat to keep herself warm but she's not like wearing it right and take this pocket watch it's like why why put a coat on her then like i don't know I think it's kind of silly. Watch will guide you to a the Blue place. Fairy Waifu. I saw Be a couple careful. of friends that actually cosplayed her like when the game came out and I feel like they absolutely knocked it out of the park. And it, it kind of, it kind of reminds me of the, what's that stuff called in Hollow Knight? Oh, I'm going to kick myself for not remembering. The stuff, the blue stuff where you hit it and you get like the two extra hits because of it. Like it's like that little blue butterfly like reminds me of that every time I see it. And if it doesn't make you think of that, well, now it will, and you're welcome. <laughs> Aegis Pixie Riot. How are some of these athletes can play past their 30s? I get her sleeping wrong. Yeah, I know, right? I know what you mean. And that's why I said in the world of sports, don't you call me out, Kizark. Uh, Pixie did hashtag Pixie did nothing wrong. Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, in the world of sports, like if you're over 30 years old, like you're you're getting you're getting up there. <laughs> Which is really kind of daunting to think about, about but that's just how it battle, is. But to see you in person, wow! You should take this. You, Jenny, definitely looks kind of French. It's to look cool, Pixie. Gosh, <laughs> listen, it's a pretty color. And I think it's a cool design. I just feel like if you're gonna put a coat on a character, why not just have them wear the coat? That's all I'm saying. But I think she's really, really cool. I think she's so pretty too. The puppet string. I didn't unlock the other one, did I? Oh, I know my way. If any of you, I know my way around. Oh no no no. Oh nope, that's not what I wanted either. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could, though. We have the Ergo. And we did have the, um, I think it was a Moonstone? Yeah, so we might as well do it. Okay, jeez, that scared me! Taste of sugar! Oh my god! Hi! What's up, guys? How you doing, my friend? You're so freaking sweet! Thank you so much for the raid! And it's not just because sugar is in the name. Thank you so, so much, the Sugar Raid. Welcome on in, everybody. I really appreciate you thinking of me and sending your folks this way, Sugar. I hope you had a wonderful stream. How you doing? For anyone coming in that does not know me, I am Pixie. I'm a variety streamer. I've been stoked for Lies of P since I played the demo, and um, I'm so excited to be getting into it. It's been really, really fun so far. Um, we kind of just got through the tutorial area, so now we're basically starting like the actual gameplay now. Um, and we just got to Hotel Crot, which I think is like your, kind of like your central hub for a lot of, like your upgrading and leveling up and stuff like that. So we're just kind of exploring it and we're taking it step by step and we're big chilling. Feel free to lurky lurk and enjoy the good vibes for those of you that stopped in. If you do want to come chat with us, if you're a Souls fan like myself, certainly feel free to say hello. But I appreciate you being here. I was able to sit at the PC for about 20 minutes or so, but back at the laptop for now. Hmm. Well, that's at least progress. Don't touch anything. I'm too late. Too late. I'm going to touch everything. I'm like a rebellious teenager. Since you told me not to, now I will. <laughs> but that is progress, though, Aurora. But it's nice that you can just, like, take it easy and stay comfy with the laptop. I, I would probably be doing the same as well. Just saying. But I am glad that you're doing all right over there, though. Did you do anything nice with the fam for the weekend, or were you really more or less just taking it easy? I feel like when I played the demo, we found our second like Legion arm design. We kind of found it maybe once we got out of Hotel Krat and like kind of moved on. So if this is going to be like the demo, then it might be the same thing, which I think would be really cool. To I just want to talk to Krat. everyone here first. My name is Polandina. Voice Butler actor for Lady Sophia Antonia. is Millicent Please from Elden Ring. Oh, seriously? Oh, that that's At like Hotel super Krat. fitting. How cool is that? Comfort I didn't know that. Walk hand in hand. I'm here to lurk. Welcome Stu, to you lovely bean. Thank Tell you so much for the lurk. Service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far, and I hope you enjoy Lies of Peach. 
Got myself some late night coffee. Oh, hell yeah. My coffee was like piping hot at the start of the stream and now it's piping cold, so. Like, I'm gonna have to go reheat it easily. Okay, nothing I'm really interested in getting right now. I think there was one more person that I needed to talk to. There you are. And Aurora, thank you so much for getting that shout out for Taste of Sugar. I appreciate it, lady. Thank you so, 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 so much. You were playing The Witcher 3. You spent two hours playing Gwent. Tell me you didn't, tell me you didn't go and fire up The Witcher 3 just to have a full on Gwent stream. Because I feel like that happens to a lot of people. We don't and I do eventually plan to play The Witcher 3 for the first time, and I feel and like I it's going to happen to me, too. And this is my I have no idea how the game works. I don't Welcome. really know the rules of Gwent or anything like that, but I, I feel like that kind of stuff in games gets very addicting for me, so I can I can see losing, like, tons of time, like, just alone with Gwent. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard. And he never came back. And he never he came back. Up soon. I might turn the voice volume up just a little bit more, too. <laughs> like, honestly, it's just really, really quiet. I forgot. I was keeping this for him. Like, it's almost at it max right now, but the voices... Story. I don't know why they make the voices in these games so low. With you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. I love her hat. Someone's memory and show off clothes? Equip it on your belt or extra bag, obtain gesture. Hold on. E. Extra bag. Hmm. Sit, check ground. Okay. I'm not going to equip it if I don't need it. Actually, that one is kind of cool, though. I feel like we can just kind of have some fun with that. How are you liking Liza P? I like it so far, sugar. This is everything that I'm doing so far is really just stuff that I was doing in the demo, so it's nothing new. At least not yet. But once we get past, like, the third boss or so, I think the demo had three bosses in it, if I remember right. And once I get past the third boss, then it's going to be all brand new content. So I'm just, I'm liking it. I'm just so happy the game is out. Like I've been kind of, I took a long break from my BL4 Bloodborne run and I've been kind of itching to get into like a Souls or Souls-like game. And I knew this was coming out. So it's like, it's just, it's perfect. <laughs> the perfect fit so far, just to kind of scratch that itch, you know? But how are you? How is The Witcher 3 besides like playing Gwent and getting absolutely lost in it? I hope you're loving the game. I feel like I, I legit don't hear a single bad thing about that game from anybody. That's a big part of why I want to get into it eventually. Yeah. I want to I wanna kind of keep them somewhat well-rounded, but they could specialize m definitely more in, like, technique. Just for the dexterity's sake. All right. Oh, that's the way we got to go. It's not the way that's open. Taking it easy. Got a little bit of gaming in. Been big into a little to the left. A little to the what now? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that? Because my mind goes into certain places that I don't know if I want to disclose on stream right now, but I feel like a lot of y'all's minds are going to the same spot that mine did. I have no idea what that even is, Aurora. Is that something you can play, like, with people? Or, like, like what is that? When I heard her voice in the demo, I thought she was the person who gave you Torrent. And then I searched and it was Millicent. Okay. You thought it was, um, Melina, then. You kind of see her, you see her right before Godric, before you kind of head over to that fight, and that's when you get Torrent. A hundred percent. I feel like it, it might sound similar, I suppose. Um. Wait, did I, did I go out the, I feel like I went out the wrong door.
Pixie's mind is fully in the gutter today. I mean, not, not just today. Not just today, but like extra today. I did go out the wrong door. I thought the entrance would have stayed open because I just came through that door. <laughs> Damn it. But it's all your guys' fault. Not on purpose, but it happens often enough, I'm sure. It's just so so easy to get lost into. You know, I don't know if you know Taste of Sugar, but they do have like a Gwent standalone game as well. So like if you just want to boot that up and play Gwent for hours and hours on end, like you totally could. <laughs> And I think, I don't know exactly how that standalone game differs from the Gwent that's in The Witcher, but I feel like people have mentioned, like, just a couple, like, little differences. I don't think it's anything too crazy. Back from the dog walk. What's up, Andy? Welcome back. I hope the puppers had a good time. And I hope you had a good time, too. We just basically, where I'm exploring the main central hub, it's, it's Hotel Krat. And then afterwards, I'm going to make my way out and then just continue on. And I know that there's going to be another boss that honestly doesn't seem to be too far away from here, if I remember right. Which I thought was kind of interesting that they were so close together. I don't know if it's more of a boss or mini boss, but I, I considered it a boss. Rosa Isabel. We need a certain key. Rosa Isabel street entrance key the game would give me more than a second to read stuff like that, then I wouldn't have to hit it twice. <laughs> Damn it, I hate that so much. I was hoping they would have fixed that from the demo, but I guess not. I can purchase items. Yes, I know that. I don't want to purchase any items from them. Not yet. I've been good surviving day by day. We live in, honestly, I feel like, I feel like anyone relates to that, though. Like, one day at a time, it's become, like, a mantra of my life as much as I, like, kind of came to dislike the phrase for a while. But it's so true. If you take things one day at a time, life can be a little less overwhelming, you know? And even then, it's still pretty damn overwhelming sometimes. Can't complain, really. I've been lurking because of Baldur's Gate 3 spoilers. No, no, I totally get that. I totally get that. Are you planning to play that, like, after The Witcher, maybe? Like, do you want to get into that soon, or...? Cause it's a long game, dude. I've been playing it since it came out and I only just got into act two. I just started act two like last stream a couple days ago. And I think it took me a solid with all the exploring and stuff I did in act one. It took me a solid like maybe a little over 70 hours to get through the first act. So if acts two and three are just as long as the first, then we're going to be on Baldur's Gate for a hot second. I'm not complaining because that that is my personal game of the year so far. I honestly really, really like it. And I just love I love the DD. &D. Whoa, hello. Hey, let's be more careful. I love the DD &D ah, elements that are in it, and it's just really it's just fun guys. and the characters are great. But don't be alarmed. My name is Jiminy. We'll talk later when we're safe. My name is Jiminy. Jiminy Tiger 69. <laughs> Hope things have been good. Yeah, I'm doing okay here, sugar. I am doing okay. The week, the weekend's been okay. I just, I did not have a very good day yesterday, so I'm not gonna like, just lie and be like, oh yeah, I'm totally fine. But I didn't have the best day yesterday, so today has been a really nice day so far. I went for my jog this morning, and I got some things um, basically done, and I got ready for stream, and had breakfast, and now I'm here, so... A nice way a nice way to end the weekend that's for sure but yeah taking it day by day and just living that's that's a vibe for sure man i heard about that just today maybe but it could give me a new addiction well i feel like that's true i feel like if you're like if you're playing the witcher 3 then i feel like um just playing gwent in the game makes sense but like if you don't feel like starting a new witcher 3 playthrough then that game is like perfect you know but seriously, like, I, there's a couple people on Twitch I know that, like, Gwent is, like, the thing that they stream. Like, it's not the only thing they play. Yes! I love that grapple. That is so clutch. But they play it a lot. And they just, they love it. They'll just sit there for hours playing Gwent, and I'm like, wow. Like, I'm not judging. It's cool. It's just, I don't know if I would enjoy doing that for so long. Oh my god. I am so glad I noticed you. 
That grapple was probably one of my favorite things that I found in the demo. A little to the left is a very chill puzzle game that focuses on tidying up. Kim introduced it to me and I've already gone through that in the DLC. A puzzle game about cleaning? That's crazy. Like, I've never really heard of anything like that. That's funny. Is it like, like, do you have different levels where it's like, okay, for this, you gotta, I don't know, like put all the clothes in the left side of the room. Are there like little objectives you have to follow that make it more like a puzzle? Cause it sounds really cute. Also the lovely Kim Chris, if those of you, if those of you do not know her, she streams as well. And during my, um, during my birthday subathon earlier this month, she uh, she gifted me Let's Build a Zoo, and I've been thinking that that would be a Alicia really fun Boulevard game to play as well. And I I would think world. of like putting you animals in it that like shops. represent all of y'all in the community. I just think it would be a, a fun chill community Before stream kind of thing. The but I don't know if you've ever played that or not, Aurora. But Kim and I were chatting one night, and she showed it to me, and it looked really really cute, and just very chill. Does it have an option for the text to stay up longer? I'm not gonna lie, as much as I keep complaining about it, Andy, I've been too lazy to look. <laughs> so I could not answer that question, but I'd have to take a quick look. I'm not sure. I just don't know why it's so quick at all, because like it shouldn't be. Subtitle display is on, but that's not quite what I'm after. Camera, audio graphics. Controller, keyboard and mouse guide. This is just all of the tutorial things that I've seen and then exit. So I, I don't really know that there's an option to fix it. I just remember being annoyed with that in the demo and I was hoping they would have fixed it in this, but I guess they didn't. That's like the perfect counter to these stupid pupper dogs. Pixie lying, she's a puppet? Really though? Really, I am such a bad liar, Dan. Someone would accuse me of lying in this game and call me a puppet. And like, I wouldn't be able to hold the act together. Like, I just could not. I was never into games, like this is different, but I was never into games like, like the card game bullshit, for instance, where like you have to be a good liar or even just like playing poker and keeping a good poker face. Like, it's like a big reason why I don't ever go to casinos to play games like that, even though I don't live terribly far from one. <laughs> it's because I know I'm not a good liar, so I'm, I'm gonna lose all my money and it's pointless. Ooh. Ooh. Defense parts? Let's go, hold on. Equipment, defense parts. <laughs> Nice. I should honestly look at a bunch of these because I haven't even looked at anything. That's all the same. Okay. Just making sure. That's awesome, though. That's, like, huge compared to the one I start with. Amulets? Do I have... I don't think I have anything like that. But then we have a little blip over this way. Oh, cannot be changed here, I see. Costume? Ooh. I don't have anything like that. But I would love to see some of the costumes and stuff that you can get. I know that they have one, like if you get like the digital deluxe edition, I think they give you some kind of extra like costume and I forget what it is. But that's really cool. I can't wait to see like the, just the cosmetic differences. That's one thing I'll say about this game. With like a lot of the Souls games, I don't really care about the cosmetics. Like I don't really spend a lot of time designing my character's appearance because they're just going to have a buttload of armor and you're not going to see it. But in a game like this, it's like they let you have a little fun with the cosmetics too, which I think is really nice. 